Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Nash. If you're new here, hi, my name is Nashley. I'm 24 year old living on my own in a studio apartment working full time and it is currently my Sunday. Technically it's July 4th and I had the day off and I start back work tomorrow bright and early at 6.45. Today's video, we're going to be doing a mini week reset. I don't actually have one dedicated day. I have certain parts of my days throughout the weekend from Friday to Sunday that work best for me to tackle some of the things that I like to do before I start work. Let's get into it. So actually, like I mentioned, just got home not too long ago. It's been like five minutes. It is 9.03 and my goal is to basically in the next hour do everything that I need to do so then I can get in bed and actually just chill, do some editing, you know, be a little bit of a, what I call a potato and just get my mind mentally prepared for work in the morning so first up i always like to do is the kitchen whether it is just wiping down the counters for me it always ends up being a couple dishes as you can see that i need to take care of so first order of business is to put away the clean dishes and clean the dirty dishes from earlier today yay me this is the current state of it we have a nice full rack of clean dishes not too many dirty dishes and then just more random stuff I need to put back in its home. So it's about 9.20 now. I just finished cleaning the kitchen. She is ready. But one thing that I like to do before I close the kitchen for the night is basically prep any food needed for tomorrow. Considering it's a nice bright and early day, my Tuesdays are my early days, I want to make sure I have breakfast and lunch situated. I know that if I pack food, I won't eat out, so I make sure to pack food. So a good thing is I actually am ahead of the game today. I actually don't have to prep anything. I already have breakfast and lunch ready. So let me show you. You can see here, I actually made a breakfast wrap. I made one this morning and I just ended up doubling it so I can have one tomorrow. I'll just pop this in the microwave before I go and eat it either on the way or as I'm opening up the office for the morning. And then my mother-in-law cooked and actually she always gives me food to go whenever I go by. So I have some rice and chicken here. So I normally save this step for the morning, but while I'm already here and actually ready to have all the food made, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the food in my actual lunchbox and just put my lunchbox, lunchbox in the fridge. Here is my lunchbox, it's from Walmart. It's basic, but it's cute. It has nice little handles, it opens right up at the top. It has a drink holder, there's a front pocket here and then a mesh pocket there. So I'm just gonna put her here. And then in the morning, I always take out an avocado the day prior so that hopefully by tomorrow, because I keep them in the fridge, hopefully by tomorrow, she's soft enough for me to enjoy her. Um, but what I'm gonna do also is just take some lettuce and tomato. I'm just gonna put a little bit, a couple of lettuce leaves in here so that I can add it to my lunch just to mix it up a little bit so that I don't feel like I'm eating the same thing. And those tomatoes are gonna go bad soon. So I need to eat them sooner rather than later. So literally I'm just gonna break a couple leaves. Just so I can make it into like a nice rice and chicken bowl with lettuce and tomato and then what i also have is some leftover like dressing concoction that i have a little cocktail um and i'll just pour that in there so this is pretty much what we got going on and 
and as you heard i am basically finishing up my tomatoes so one thing that i have right on the top of my freezer door is a whiteboard and i always try to make sure that as i'm finishing up stuff in the kitchen groceries that kind of thing that i write it here so that once a week i try to just grab whatever i need and it helps me you know stay in budget and also just you know be more mindful of the stuff that i'm using up pretty fast like i have eggs and potatoes here and i'm gonna put tomatoes because we're gonna finish this up tomorrow and you'll be surprised how much i eat little cherry tomatoes in this house next which is a given for me is switching from my weekend bag into my work bag and if you know you know so here's the bag that i was using i was going back and forth from just using like my wristlet wallet with like my keys attached to it and actually using the full-blown coach bag which still has all the stuff that i was using so now i basically have to empty her out put her in her spot in the case and fill up my work bag so let's bring her over so my actual work bag pretty much gets emptied out and refilled every day because a lot of the times i go to the gym four to five times out of the week so i need to switch out either the gym clothes that i'm wearing or um just the stuff that i'm carrying with me so this is the bag that i've been using I got it on Amazon. It's actually known as like a travel bag because it has this strap back here which you can put it on the handle of like a rolling suitcase. And I love it for travel, but it's actually been very convenient for work. Okay, in the main pocket, I have like my go-to bag of essentials, pads, liners, hand sanitizer, perfume, hand cream, and a hair tie. I kind of swap occasionally what's in there. We have the lip glosses that I was wearing throughout this weekend, some shades, my planner, and my AirPods. And I had my wallet in here, but as you saw, it was out of the bag. So this bag is pretty much all set and can be put in the case and I can lock the case up. So workout clothes have been fit. Workout clothes are in the bag. Put my sneakers and a full workout fit in there. I'm just gonna basically transfer the remaining stuff that I took out of my purse in here. So for example, my little essentials kit goes in there. Wallet. I normally clip this clip onto the bag as a just in case. So I'll just clip it on one of the arms of the the straps to the backpack and then i put my calendar i mean planner and most importantly we can't forget our trusty old airpods to get us through our workout so that's pretty much everything that i put in here it is 2.55 and basically what I did was just tighten up the space. If you saw when I panned over, there was just a bunch of random little things scattered around. So I kind of just did a quick pickup and put it back to where it belongs. So now the rest of the apartment is basically reset. And now what's left for me to do is to change into my comfy clothes, wash my face, and get in bed. So basically, we are almost done get the exact time 10 04 i don't know if you can see it it's 10 04 and i am done i just got in bed and just separating an hour to wind down and complete those few tasks really helped me not only mentally get in the mindset of okay we're about to enter a work week but also just kind of 
helps me feel better in my space i love having a clean space and i do a pretty good job of maintaining it and just doing these small little tasks especially the night before we start a new week it's just everything that i need and more so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm about to actually start editing a different completely different video that'll hopefully be up before this one so if you haven't already check out my mid-year 2022 financial goals check-in and i will see you guys in the next one bye